Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've just come home from the groceries. I am sweating. It was rather cool before I went and I've got home, I've got long sleeves on and I've worked up a sweat. But I have gone to Aldi today, so I'm going to take you through with what I've got. I also had to pop into Coles to get a couple of things. I went to Big W to get my Method laundry liquid that I've been wanting to get. Went in there, there is none left. So I still have to get laundry liquid. I might order that online. And one thing I desperately needed to get was bin liners. And guess who forgot the bin liners? Me. So enough chit chat from me. I am going to quickly get changed, lay out these groceries and show you what I got. My sister got me these grocery trolley bags for my birthday. They're brilliant. They are a little heavy though when trying to get them in the car. Okay, so I will start with coal so I can put this cold stuff away. I actually got this from just the local fruit shop. Um, some light milk for me and some normal milk for the kids supporting the farmers. So I bought our local dairy farmers milk and some mushrooms for one of the dinners. Um, color catches were on special at Coles this week. I only get my kitty litter from Coles because Coles is the only one that stocks them. Woolies doesn't anymore and neither does my local pet store. My cats absolutely love these little sachets. They were put off wet food, but this is their fave. They are loving them. Got some more fabric more fabric softener so I can pop in bottles to spritz my sofa and my cat's favorite biscuits the optimum biscuits as you can see it is super hot here so I'm just going to do this quick cold food so I've got pork mince some butter to bake prawns to put in a pasta dish I'm making I'm going to make pulled pork on the weekend, tofu for Isabel, chocolate mousse, um, chocolate custard mousse for the kids for dessert, chicken breasts for some dinners, chorizo for a pasta dish that I'm making out of the Emmy Lou's um, magazine, some sausages so I can do a vegetarian version for Isabel. Um, they've got Chobani yogurt at the moment, really cheap at Aldi, so that's for the girls. They've recently got braces, another toe foot for, for Isabel. Um, so they're struggling to find things to eat, so that's a good food for them. Um, halloumi to cook up in one of the dishes for dinner. Some baby spinach. Some grated cheese. Um, some cheese slices. I've got to get all light because with my gallbladder I'm not allowed to have any like fatty food so light cheese it is so the kids eat light cheese as well and some balls for Kobe and the Border Collies. Um, so I got two um, packets of zucchinis. I like to make zucchini pasta, the kids love zucchini too, kale slaw for our pulled pork rocket to put in one of the pasta dishes, a watermelon, mandarins for Will, a mango, a couple of avocados for one of our dinners, asparagus, broccolini, a couple of sweet potatoes so I can make sweet potato chips, cream for the um, one of the dishes I'm making and sour cream for one of the dishes I'm making, cucumber, bananas, a red and green capsicum, some fresh beans and a pumpkin for one of the meals I'm making. Sorry that none of this is in any order. I just got it out so hot. I just wanted everything out on the bench so I could quickly film. So I've got some wafers for the kids. These are nice and soft too so they can melt in the girl's mouth with their braces. They are really struggling. Macaroni, I might make the girls some macaroni and cheese. I needed some more napkins. Chocolate poppers for the kids for school lunches. Um, a couple of cans of baked beans for Isabel. Baby beets to pop in my salad at lunchtime. I got some rolled oats to make some Anzac biscuits. And I needed more vanilla extract. Quick oats for breakfast. Some peanut butter to pop on stuff, sandwiches and apples for the kids. 
um, some organic diced tomatoes for one of the dinner dishes I'm making, spaghetti and fettuccine. Um, so I just went through my pantry before I went and I really needed to stock up. So I needed more corn flour, plain flour, self-raising flour, bread for the kids' lunches. It's the wholemeal bread that looks white, so William will eat it. Chia seeds for breakfast, cacao powder to pop in the girls' smoothies in the morning that I make them with um, rolled oats um, and cacao a little pinch of instant coffee and almond milk. So almond milk, some posada sauce, dinner, um, some tikka masala sauce, one for Izzy, and then I've got an extra one that's got the spice as well. So if I use two jars, because I make Isabel a vegetarian option, a burrito kit and extra wraps for burritos one night. I needed more spiral pasta for my jars, brown sugar and icing sugar. I needed more coconut, some chopped chips to bake, and some muesli bars, which I've just squashed for Chris for when he goes to work on Mondays. Right, so I'm changed. It is so hot. I think it's because it rained so much last night and it's October here in Queensland, so it's starting to get warm, so there's like steam everywhere. Um, but I have got my meal plan here. I printed out these print printables and I laminated them. Um, I like to do things like that. And I found out about the Organised Mum blog from Mrs Meldrum. I will link her below. She did a cleaning um, video about her cleaning schedule, and I've been starting to do that, but I also saw her meal plan print out so i printed that out so i've always got it and i just use a whiteboard marker and i wipe it off so i will tell you what we are having for dinner this week so today it is wednesday so we are going to i'm going to make spicy pork mince um and pop it in let lettuce cups for the kids my girls have just got braces so they are finding it really hard to eat and i will do um isabel with tofu instead of the pork mince because she is vegetarian tomorrow night we are having chicken and veggies with homemade sweet potato chips my children love when i make homemade sweet potato chips so the veggies are the broccolini and zucchini then we will be having on Friday night chicken with mushrooms um, in, in a butter sauce and veggies again. On Saturday night is actually our wedding anniversary so hopefully Chris is taking me out to dinner but my dad will be watching my children which I haven't told him yet so that reminds me. And I will pop a pulled pork in the slow cooker so it's on all day so he doesn't have to worry about making the kids dinner he just needs to get it out and i will have a dish for izzy already made and i will also um, have some kale slaw for them to have with that sunday night i will make a chicken and prawn um, pasta dish that i found in the emmy lou mccarthy i will link her below her instagram account she's just started a magazine and her recipe is in that and we made it last week and oh my gosh it is delicious on monday i'm going to have um we're going to have chicken burritos isabel will have um, tofu burritos Tuesday night we will have pumpkin soup. Isabel has been asking for pumpkin soup. I think it's because of her braces. Um, they are really struggling. So if you have any really good yummy um, recipes for people with braces, I would love for you to write down below what they are because I'm, I, I'm stumped. And that's it. But that grocery bill came to, I got the wrong, oh no. So the Coles bill, um, came to $36.08. I wish I had picked up the laundry liquid when I was in there now because I was driving all over the countryside to get this method laundry liquid. So I have to go back to the shops when I pick the kids up today. Although I might order it online, but I don't think it will be here in time. I think I might run out. And that Aldi shop came to a total of $264.86. I think that's pretty good. I got a lot of staple 
meals and well not staple meals a lot of staple things for my pantry so i hope if you like this video if you do i would love for you to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new around here i would love for you to stick around and to subscribe if you've come over from my instagram channel i would love for you to comment below and let me know um yeah so that's it from me sorry it was a bit of a rambly crazy video